All right, everybody. Welcome to Under the Arch Sports. I'm Eric Hobbs, and it's time for us to continue our Mizzou Summer Preview Series. This time, we're talking about the defensive line. Before we get into that, I need you guys to go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter. Ah, so we've been talking about the defense for Missouri, and there's it's been a lot of, let's see if these guys can take the next step. Well, for the defensive line, there's some of that on the interior, but your edge rushers, defensive ends, a little bit more mystery. So let's start there. You know, Missouri, this is the one spot, uh, the defensive end, the edge rushers, where they actually do lose a good amount of contribution. Isaiah McGuire and DJ Coleman are off to the NFL. Trajan Jeffcoat now plays for Arkansas. And then late in the uh, kind of in the season process, uh, Arden Walker and at the transfer portal as well. So three main contributors and four bodies overall are gone. And it leaves the edge as kind of a mystery. It's enough of a mystery that Darius Robinson, who has been a defensive tackle, looks like he's going to get some time out on the edge. Now, this is something where it's partially a move out of necessity for Missouri, and it's also partially a little bit of works working out perfectly for Robinson because he's thought of as an NFL prospect, and that's the one thing he hasn't really shown off to scouts is his ability to rush the passer. So it kind of works out for everybody that he may get some time out on the edge. Uh, I don't think Drinkwitz is doing that as a favor to him. It just works out conveniently for everybody. So I think Darius Robinson is probably going to be one of your starters on the outside of the defensive line, at least to begin the season. So who's that make the second guy? Who's going to be starting opposite him? Well, there's only one guy who has any sort of power five experience. And that's Joe Moore. Uh, Joe Moore. alumnus of Cardinal Ritter in St. Louis, went out to Arizona State. And, you know, uh, he's got a little bit of experience, 17 games, I believe. And he's got the edge going in just because he's done it before at this level, or at least close to it. After that, it's a whole lot of unknown. That doesn't mean Missouri doesn't have anybody who could be good. He has someone like a Niles Gaddy. You know, spent a year at Tennessee, but didn't really play. Then went down to Jackson State and was all conference. So he's he's excelled at that level. Does it translate to the SEC? Maybe. Maybe not. But we don't know. So there's reason to hope there. Uh, you've also seen Johnny Walker a little bit. Pretty limited, but you know, depending on, on where Robinson goes and everything else, he could be, uh, he could be your starter, especially if Robinson stays at defensive tackle. So those are, I think, the primary names to look out for. But don't forget about Jakai Lang and uh, Sarin Tunkara, some young guys, DJ Weselak, even uh, young guys who may be able to get themselves into uh, into the rotation. Also, Austin Firestone. Transfer from Northwestern. Uh, you know, he redshirted his only year in college. And I think he's going to be kind of the sixth, seventh, eighth option on the depth chart. We'll see. Maybe he uh, maybe he steps his game up during fall camp. But I think that's where he's at coming into everything. Um, yeah, defensive end. Big question, just because. Yeah, if you watch David's video, he mentioned with the secondary, they can cover, but they need help to make sure they're not having to cover all day. That that's where the defensive ends come in. You gotta be able to rush the passer so you're not leaving your secondary hung out to dry. Now, a lot of mystery out there. The interior of the defensive line has no such mystery. If you include Robinson, who may end up at the end, if you include him, Missouri returns its top five defensive tackles. So 
Robinson could start at D tackle, but let's let's just say, for the sake of argument, he starts out at D end. Well, you still have uh, Christian Williams and Jaden Jernigan as your starters. Then you've got Realist George coming off the bench. Yeah, he's coming off the bench, even though uh, PFF College has him as the highest rated returning defensive tackle in the SEC, even higher than Robinson, higher than anybody else. Side note, former Tiger, Makai Wingo, he's number two. So in those returning D tackle ratings, you got Rios George, number one, Wingo, number two, and then Darius Robinson, number three. So the top three, all spending time in Mizzou's program. Can't be a bad thing. Uh, so you got that coming off the bench as like a six-man type deal. Now that's fantastic. And then Josh Landry, he, out of these guys, he's your fifth guy. He's not the fifth, fifth, excuse me, fifth best defensive tackle in a lot of programs. He is, he's solid. He's just, you know, the fifth out of five good players. And that's before you even consider the fact that you got Marquise Graciel and Jalen Marshall. I think Graciel, especially for St. Louis uh, Mizzou fans, you know, pretty well known. He's huge. Four-star, highly rated, all that. I think he's going to be a big factor in 2024 and beyond, but I think he's got one more year of just kind of waiting in the wings, maybe get some, getting some spot PT. Nothing wrong with that if you're Missouri, to have a dude of that caliber who is just waiting, watching these really good players, wa- learning from them, all of that. So that's good for the future, uh, if nothing else. And, hey, what if dudes get hurt? Missouri still has five, six guys that I think they're going to feel comfortable putting out there. So, you know, I don't know that they would do it. But if you recall about 10 years ago when Missouri had Shane Ray and Michael Sam and Coney Ely and all these defensive ends, they did the candy formation where it'd be three, maybe even four DNs line up on an obvious passing down, third and forever or whatever. I wonder if Missouri on either a third and short or goal line situation, more likely, they just get three, four, even even five of these guys out there. I mean, they're all good football players. If the down and distance suggests it, I, I think you could do that. Have some have some sort of jumbo package, especially if Missouri finds that its defensive ends are not what they uh, are hoping for. You know, if Robinson is okay, but maybe Johnny Walker, Joe Moore, nobody really steps up. Maybe you get three D D tackles and Robinson out there a little bit. You know, you won't be able to do that all the time uh, just because you need somebody who's going to be faster to be able to rush the passer and so forth. But that's something that could throw opposing offensive lines off if you time it right in the right situation, whatever. Anyway, guys, D tackle. Super strong. D end. Lots of mystery. Could have made this two separate videos. Almost did. But here we are. This is the final video of position groups. We've got uh, special teams that we'll talk about uh, next. And guys, by the time that's out, we're coming up on fall camp pretty quick. So thank you for checking us out. Until then, Keep it tuned here to Under the Air Sports. We've got you covered for everything going on in the world of St. Louis sports. See you guys next time.